দর্শক আমি ভয়েস অফ আমেরিকা বাংলার আসানুল হক আপনাদের সাথে কথা বলছি এই মুহূর্তে ওয়াশিংটন ডিসির জর্জ ওয়াশিংটন বিশ্ববিদ্যালয় ক্যাম্পাস থেকে এই ক্যাম্পাসে এবং যুক্তরাষ্ট্রের বেশ কয়েকটি বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের ক্যাম্পাসে গত কিছুদিন ধরে বিক্ষোভ প্রদর্শিত হচ্ছে এবং আমার পিছে যে তাবুগুলো আপনারা দেখতে পাচ্ছেন এই তাবুগুলোতে অবস্থান করছেন ছাত্রছাত্রীরা বেশ কয়েকদিন ধরে এখন এবং তারা যে দাবিগুলো করছেন তার মধ্যে রয়েছে গাজায় যে যুদ্ধ হচ্ছে সেখানে যে হাজার হাজার ফিলিস্তিনি নিহত হয়েছেন যার মধ্যে অনেক নারী এবং শিশু সেই হত্যাকাণ্ডের বিরুদ্ধে তারা প্রতিবাদ জানাচ্ছেন সেটি বন্ধ করার দাবি জানাচ্ছেন আসুন আমরা এইখানে যারা অবস্থান করছেন তাদের কয়েকজনের সাথে কথা বলি এবং জানার চেষ্টা করি যে তারা কি ভাবছেন তারা কেন এখানে আছেন Yeah, um, I think there's two, two answers to that. The first is very short and simple. Um, the, people of genocide are, or the people of Gaza are facing a genocide, you know, and it's the genocide that, that brought us here to bring all the attention to what the people in Rafah are suffering and, and, and Gaza in general. Um, the second longer answer is that we do have specific demands for the university that we attend, GW, um, and other universities in the DMV area. And that's that they uh, disclose all of their endowment because we don't know where our tuition money is going. And that's important because of our second demand, which is that we demand that they divest because we know that a lot of that tuition money is going towards companies that have directly benefited from this genocide uh, via technologies and weapons that are being sold to the Zionist regime of Israel um, and being used there. Those are the first two primary ones. Uh, then we also have three more, which is more centered around students, right? Um, it is because they have already charged a lot of pro-Palestinian students with um, different like school, school disciplinary actions. Um, even just within this encampment, we had seven or si so sorry, <laughs> we had six students charged with suspensions um, with like nine counts against them, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, but it's not the first time GW tries to silence pro-Palestinian students. It's not the last. So we demand that all charges be dropped against pro-Palestinian students. And with that, that pro-Palestinian speech be protected. Um, and that's that's something that we we absolutely demand because we will not shut up about this um, even if I mean God willing this encampment goes down because the the demands are met and we'll still continue to rally for the people of Palestine even even beyond that um, so in the future we want that protected and finally the GW and all academic ties with the state of Israel um, it's a Zionist regime and we have study abroad trips going there and it's, it's extremely alarming because once again students are directly contributing to uh, the genocide in in, in Gaza and, and and just the end of the Palestinian people and that's that's absolutely unacceptable I think it's very concerning for a number of reasons. Um, I support people's right to protest peacefully, but uh, many of the protests have used slogans that are, uh, you know, it's hard to argue that they're not anti-Semitic and that they argue for, a, for violence against Jewish people or among a large number of Jewish people. There are armed clashes. I'm sure you know there's a, um, there a student, I believe, at Yale who's, you know, a couple degrees of separation from me who was stabbed in the eye. Uh, it's It's... I'm, I'm here too because I'm a, I want to make sure things don't get de intensified. We're here. We're here and we're staying here. And I think that is key, is that um, we are here with, like, with Gaza in our hearts. And... Um, For how long? For how long? Until our demands are met. We're here until our demands are met and until the university puts an end to their complicity in genocide. And I think that is what is keeping us going and that optimism that Palestine will be free because, because we are all interconnected and we all need to be fighting for each other. And that is, that's what personally is keeping me going in this because whatever I'm going through and whatever doubts I may have, I have to say focus on what people and Gaza are actively undergoing and struggling through every day. Why did it take so long to start this protest? Why? Because already 
almost 40,000 people at least 40, 000, yeah. are dead, killed by Israeli bombings and troops and everything. Yeah. Um, I mean, my, my first initial initial response is that we, we are wholeheartedly of, of the belief that it didn't start on October 7th. Um, obviously, it was it was when it gained media attention and not international attention. But this is a 70 plus year uh, operation by the Israeli government. Um, and I, and I, like we, we make that clear. Absolutely. Um, and I think that the, the pressure has been building since then because Israel has repeatedly the Zionist regime has repeatedly um, ignored ignored calls for any bit of humanity to be to be shown in, in, in their operation. And so when the people see that, the people rise up, you know, and I think while I would have loved for this to happen, not just seven months ago, when October happened, I would have loved to see this happen years ago, decades ago, you know, when the original, when the Nakba in 1948, when, if, the, if the world had been able to rise up in this way, maybe we wouldn't be here. Um, so I, I do wholeheartedly regret that it wasn't earlier, right, that we we're seeing these student demonstrations. But right now, that's, that's our goal, is to bring attention to it, to get it to stop. Um, because every day more mass graves are being uncovered in Gaza, every day. And, and so every day is not another day we can waste.